Hello everyone, I'm Autumn Flame and today we're going to be discussing about the future of the Mass Effect series with the current release of the official teaser trailer. We have small nods towards the Andromeda Galaxy and I'd like to talk a little bit about where I think we should go forward with that. Previously I've made a video on the future of Mass Effect Andromeda for a sequel and potentially a third game. I will link that down below if you'd like to check that out about my previous theories leading into what we now have seen here which is a little bit but not that much where we're going to see games still set within the Milky Way. I think that the game should take a focus away from the Milky Way for a little bit in terms of building Andromeda and then returning back to the Milky Way once Andromeda has faced its current crisis of dealing with the cat. For a brief summary, I believe that the second game in Andromeda should focus heavily upon exploration, finding a way to either control or destroy the Scourge in order to either use it as a weapon or remove it completely and that having various political and safety things happen with either the Ket being able to incursion in more, other new alien races that you meet end up liking or disliking the choices that you've made. and a being able to use that more efficiently and the initiative being able to explore outside of the Healy's cluster with little risk. I personally think that we really should focus on Andromeda before the Milky Way and not have a dual fusion game of swapping back and forward. The Milky Way should not visit Andromeda just yet as I believe that would be dr drastically premature and Andromeda needs to deal with its own problems before having the Milky Way come to their rescue or potentially Andromeda's problems reaching into the Milky Way. I think at this point in time it would be a waste of storytelling, it would be too forced and really wouldn't give us cohesive experience that we're after. Maybe in a potential number, if we count that at this the next one's five, six and then a seventh game then we can be looking at breaching Andromeda and the Milky Way together whether by mass relays or new ships that can make the trip in a few hours, weeks or even just a year or so versus the 600 years they have now if they build a new mass relay or some sort of um, quantum tunneling device or something we don't know. But definitely we want to see a heavy focus just solve Andromeda's story first Let's see the war with the Ket, let's solve all the problems, let's solve the Scourge, go to war with the Ket, complete that, then if a new enemy rises and they need help from the Milky Way, or the Milky Way needs help from Andromeda, then we can bri bridge them together and grow the galaxies together. I don't really think we should even look at a third or fourth galaxy for quite a while, maybe after this set of next three games or even more, but even then it would really just start to get a little bit on the nose with having oh there's another galaxy here's this another galaxy when there are so many stories that could still be told that don't have to be the overarching reaper level threat but we can have small carefully crafted stories about the people within the universes and their experiences rather than having earth shattering galaxy changing events all of the time in moving into a fusion game between the two, which as I said, I believe should happen between a third game from Andromeda and then potentially a fourth or fifth game back in the Milky Way, then breaching them together. So the Milky Way is starting to rebuild. They're trying to craft out new mass relays. They're crafting out new technology and they want to contact the Andromeda initiative and then find some way they can start traveling back and forward, trading resources, the Angara come and visit and who knows what else at that point. But I really think each individual galaxy should stabilize and then start to breach together in order to face maybe a new threat or even just open up politically and economic and logistical alliances. We have these images here that have been released by Bioware, whether or not they are just concept art or could potentially be used later. But as we see this ship here, and here when the Ara lands on the ice planet, uh, this is Altira, we have the exact same ship here. I believe it's called like the Puddle Jumper or Mud Skipper or something similar. Which this could be planets on Andromeda or potentially even in the Milky Way, which we don't really know yet. Whatever this bit is, we don't really know. 
this is definitely Alchera. Ice Planet, we've got that. And we've got a Salarian, Drell, potentially A, and Garin, and maybe a human. I'm not potentially sure what this one is supposed to be. We have this technology here, which definitely looks like Remnant technology. It may be something completely different. It may be a new alien race of an older one that the Reapers have destroyed that we don't know about. Maybe even the first race, who knows? But definitely this could be a nod in order for the vaults and things like that that existed in Andromeda. And here we have a, I'm assuming to be a new mass relay being constructed. And when you see the size of it compared to everything, so don't just think it's a ship. I definitely think it's a mass relay. If there's just one to go around the Milky Way, or it's something to go from the Milky Way to Andromeda and back, and they send one and link it up to the next one. It definitely looks like in the background here that we have the Citadel or something equivalent in the background as they're building this. I really think that they should wait one, two, maybe even three games before breaching this as I believe it would be premature and not what we want as a as consumers to see the stories being pushed forward too quickly, the Milky Way solving Andromeda's problems too early or Andromeda solving the Milky Way problems too early. Uh, that's just my opinions though on what I would think that the both games should do. They should focus on themselves, have Milky Way game, Andromeda game, Milky Way, Andromeda maybe, and then a fusion, or maybe Milky Way, Andromeda, then fusion if things have been going really well. I'm not too sure about whether or not we could do anything other than that. I know in The Last of Us Part 2 they told two stories simultaneously with part of the game in the Milky Way, part of the game, I'm so, sorry, with the, in relation to that, if we took that from the Milky part of the game, the Milky Way part in Andromeda would seem too jarring with the drastically different technology leaps with Andromeda having different alien races, different combat, different abilities, having crafting, while the Milky Way doesn't. If you just start breaching them mysteriously, all having the same technology now, would just be too jarring I think having either one universal technology between the both of them or if they both have alternating technologies is going to be a bit jarring with on this character I have these abilities on this character I have different abilities you know, I just don't see that working at all I think we're going to need dedicated games for each area and then a fusion game that might work where we have squad mates from both galaxies joining together or a true system where the technologies now have merged and everybody's using the same one. And that's going to wrap up my video for this one. If anyone has any theories about what you'd like to see for Mass Effect Andromeda 2 or 3 or even potentially what would happen on crossovers, I would love to see below in the comments what you would what your theories are and I shall talk to everyone soon and I'll look forward to it. Thanks for watching.